Good day. Today we're going to be building a robot. Interesting. So let's go ahead and let's open up Blender. Okay, here's what's going to happen. Let's first get rid of uh, our cube. Then what we're going to do is immediately we're going to, I'm going to have a top-down view of this. So I'm going to press on my keypad the 7 button. Okay, the 7 button is going to take you uh, from a top-down view. If I press the 1 button, side view, you know, I've got all kinds of different views. So play around with your, uh, your keypad to find, uh, you know, the different views. But anyways, once you end up with the 7, then I'm going to have you think about how a robot works. I'm going to go to add, uh, mesh, and then let's go ahead and... Hmm. Let's go ahead with our cubes. Let's add some cubes. And I'm going to go ahead here. I want a sort of a rectangular, rectangular thing to serve as like the robot's chest. So let's go ahead and we'll switch to uh, our scale view or our scale mode so we can our manipulators work where instead of moving it, it makes it bigger and smaller. First of all, I want to set it so that it's like a flatter thing. So I'm going to go ahead, flatter. I want to make it sort of boxier. Okay. So I'm going to say, that's there we go. That's my robot's chest right now. So that's looking pretty good. Okay. So now let's go ahead. Let's add like sort of a piece to serve as his neck. So file, add. Let's go ahead. Let's add another cube. Switch to movement mode, and now let's move it here. Okay. And actually, you know what? I don't think we even need a neck. That looks pretty good. Let's go ahead. Let's add that. Let's change it so it's like maybe just a little bit different. I'm just going to make it a little bit more. There we go. A little, little skinnier. There we go. A little less tall. Skinny that up a little bit. Now let's move that closer to his. There we go. Okay, so now let's go back. Some keys so far so good. Let's go ahead then. Let's add some like outcroppings for like tubes. Okay, so let's add another uh, cube. Okay, let's move that over. Okay, so from here, here's what we're going to do. Let's scale this down so it's real skinny. Okay, real skinny. And then let's go ahead and now what we're going to do is we're going to do the rotate manipulator mode. Okay, so now I'm going to click here. I can now rotate that. So let's go ahead. There we go. You can see here that's not, I want to have it uh, just move a little bit over. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's just grab that. Let's press our G key. There we go. So there we go. I'm going to shrink that up a little bit too. I think it's too tall. Go ahead, do my Z axis. Looking pretty good right there. So far, so good. Let's go ahead. What we're going to do is we're going to select it. And... Uh, we're actually going to duplicate it. So make sure it's got that orange outline. Let's click on the duplicate button. Okay, so now we've got a second one, exactly the same size. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's rotate it, because we want it to be sort of like that. Let's move it again then. Okay. So this is really just, you know, pretty simple. Let's also move it down so it's flush like that. All right, so there we go. Now, let's go ahead. Let's add two more very simple um, kind of legs. Okay, file add. Let's go ahead, add two more cubes. Move that down. So let's go ahead. Now let's make that skinny. Give that a skinny, skinny leg. I mean, this is just really simple, folks. Let's add it like maybe that big, okay? Skinny, uh, a little bit more. Let's move that now. Ooh. 
Oh. You can actually have it pass into them like that. You I mean you can't like tell. So let's also sort of scrunch that up a little bit, make my z-axis sort of make it as flush with that other thing. Go ahead, zoom in. So you can see it's thicker than the body, so let's sort of scrunch that up a little bit more. Let's also there we go. It's looking pretty good. So let's, now let's move it out. And then let's duplicate it. Okay. So this is just really simple. This is like Frankenstein's monster. It's pretty nice. Okay, let's also move that down. There we go. Okay, so at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to find some nice textures for it. We're going to add a, let's do something really f uh, simple in GIMP uh, where we can um, make textures like for a kind of a robot skin. But let's test out, uh, let's test this out. Let's let's do a, uh, a texture for this main body plate. Let's go ahead here to its materials. Let's add a new material and then a texture. And then I'm thinking, like we do noise marble. We're going to play around with these uh, textures. I think actually that might work. That might work. So let's see what that looks like. I'm going to add a color to that material. Okay, so where it says, has here the color. Let's do sort of a grayish. There we go. Sort of like a metallic thing. There we go. Let's see what that looks like. Let's also, you can see here, like that's what our camera sees. So I'm actually going to back my camera up a little bit more. So let's select my camera, move it back. Let's see what our camera looks like now. Well, a little bit more. We need to move it back a little bit more. Whoops, wrong way. So now let's check that out. Let's render that. <laughs> not exactly. Uh, that's the not what we wanted. But uh, what we're going to do is let's play around with that material some more. So now for our, our cube head. Like that. There we go. Okay. Let's also make sure that uh, our texture is good to go. Actually, take that texture off. So now let's render that again. Eh, it's close, but we want to try to shoot for like a metallic color uh, for our robot. Um, additionally, let's go ahead and let's just add something real simple in here. I want to add a simple smiley face. So let's check that out. Go to 3D view. Let's go to our top view, and I'm going to zoom in directly over the this face right here. So I'm going to add. I'm going to add some meta balls here. I think we're going to go. Well, yeah. Let's add a nose. <laughs> we're going to have to shrink this way down. It's going to be a tiny, tiny object, okay? All right, and I'll be right there. So let's just move that down now. It's going to be like Pinocchio here, man. It's going to be awesome. So let's add now another sort of like circle for his mouth. Okay, I'm going to shrink that way down. I'm actually going to go ahead and use a different material, I think, or a different different object. Let's do a mesh and we do cylinder, circle, cube. Now ah, let's do a meta ball. I like that idea. Alright, so now let's shrink this way down. Get it to sort of the right area. Let's shrink her way down. Okay. 
Okay. Shrink that. And that's actually pretty good. Let's rotate that now. Okay. Let's move that then. over, a little bit up. <laughs> this is going to be a sweet, sweet robot. <laughs> Look at that smile. That's awesome. Let's rotate that a little bit. There we go. <laughs> and now let's add some, just some real simple eyes. Okay. So let's go ahead and I'm going to add some cube eyes. Okay. So let's move that up. Shrink her down. Okay, so now let's move that over. Put it right about where it needs to be for our situation. Make sure. There we go. That's looking nice. Let's go ahead then. Let's add a. There we go. Let's duplicate that. Okay. Let's duplicate that a little bit. All right. There we go. Let's let's see what that looks like when it's rendered. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good stuff. So what we need to do is we need to add textures for each one of uh, these different parts. So for the main body and for the legs and for the arms, you're going to be dealing with pretty regular textures. Try to find either in GIMP, find a metallic texture, okay, make one, or just, you know, work around with the materials. And then do something funny, like add a texture, different textures for the mouth, and the eyes and the head, head and stuff like that. You know, be creative. Just make a really cool robot, okay? Uh, so this is sort of, this project's not done, uh, but I would like for yours to have uh, textures on each of the, different textures on each of the body parts um, and, and just make, basically looking more like a robot, okay? I wish you the best of luck.